is a, um, an instructional video to help you put together a breaker if you've purchased one from North Carolina Science Olympiad. So we've built out some of these PV structures this year for everyone. Um, and you can also use this video if you want to build your own because we've included the specs on the website for cutting all this yourself and putting it together. So maybe that will help you as well. So this is what you're getting in your box or in um, your purchase, all the PVC, um, the sand hopper and the platform. What you're not getting that you will need, you still need a five gallon bucket with sand and a scale to measure that sand for your efficiency. You're still gonna need a loading block. Okay, and this is what you hang off of the um, bucket and in order to test your device. And you're gonna need some zip ties to attach that platform to the sand when we put it together. So we tried uh, some other things, some tools you'll need. You either need um, a rubber mallet or you can use a, um, a hammer and a piece of wood if that's what you have, and then a Phillips head screwdriver, um, and you can use an electric drill or you can use a hand one. Okay, so the pieces to this are numbered so that when you um, get it, you should be able to figure out how to put these things back together. All right. Now remember, these are PVC structures, right? They're gonna, we're gonna have to massage them a little bit um, to get everything back together again. But the numbers should line up. So you want to find your numbers and start putting those together. Now the difficult part, and it's not life-threatening if you don't get this um, exactly right, is that all these holes were pre-drilled so that we had this entire structure built before we disassembled it to make it easier to move them for you. And you're going to want to try and line those holes back up. It makes your life easier um, when you put them back in. The numbers should be very near each other. And again, if you don't get them quite lined up, it's not going to be the end of the world. You can um, still get the screws back in. The fun part is always using the mallet to put those pieces back together. Okay, the other side's going on top. Same thing, the numbers should line up. This should really be the um, first thing your boom lever or pasta tower kids have to do is put their structure together because if they're no good at this, they're probably not gonna be very good at building your actual structures. Okay, it's a fun project for one of your first team meetings. Okay, so then that gets your sides put together this is your top, and again, the numbers are going to line up, and this is a piece that you really are going to have to massage just a little bit to make sure, and that's why you shouldn't put the screws back into anything until you get all the PVC pieces put back on, okay, because this one, that one, that one brace, cross brace was twisted just a little bit, and I had to love on it. And if you look down, you should be able to see whether or not you've got the holes lined up because you should be able to see through. And so I can't on that piece. So I'm going to take out a few more frustrations on my PVC today. Okay, somewhere on your structure. And again, if you don't have the rubber mallet, use this instead. Just you can, And that will keep it. The hammering right on the PVC is probably going to crack it. All right, so better not to do that. But you've got a baggie full of screws. More than you need. All right. And then you're just going to go back to all the holes that are circled. We circled them for you to make it a little easier. And you're going to go through and screw all those back on. And that will make this kind of a more permanent structure. If you're going to break it, apart at every at every team meeting or it has to be transported a lot um you could leave these screws out at least on the top it would make your life a little easier but for stability you really need to screw all the all the joints back together okay then this platform sits on top it's got lots of holes um, already drilled in it that the zip ties can go through And that'll make it a little more solid. You can test it without those if you're not 
I'm gonna have this in a permanent place and you have to move it a lot. You don't have to zip tie it every time. There are two rings on here that will move and those are to help you balance out your platform because the front is up on um, an elbow and the back was not. So we put an extra piece in there. You want the bucket to be able to hang off the ground in the middle, okay? So you've got your hook. This is going up on your boom lever, your tower, your, um, your bridge, whatever it is we're testing that year, off the ground and you're making sure that the sand will come down and hit into the bucket. And again, these are PVC structures. You've now moved them. You're getting a level and making sure that it's level in both directions is really important. Um, and if it's not, again, a rubber mallet will help with that, a shim under the, underneath, a notebook, some, anything to, um, to kind of help you level it out will be helpful to make sure that you're testing correctly. The only other thing is this handle. This opens and closes, and that's what lets the sand in and out. Remember, um, in testing, you stop this, um, you shut that handle as soon as your structure starts to break, and then we weigh what's in the bucket to see what your structural efficiency is. And hopefully that'll help you get this back together.